Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for Sabrina Carpenter's best songs. Number 10, Thumbs. Somewhere in the world there is a father and a mother, and the father is a son who has a mother. This Carpenter classic was many people's introduction to the young singer back in 2016. Even though she was still on Disney's Girl Meets World at the time, and had released fantastic music prior, it feels like Thumbs marked a turning point. So they keep on twiddling them thumbs, dead thumbs. One need only listen to it to see why it was her very first chart topper, taking over radio stations everywhere. The high energy dance tune shows off her powerful vocals and captivating presence, making it a certified bop that's impossible to resist. In other words, it's a perfect time capsule of Carpenter's earlier career. Number 9, Sue Me. This song is pure fun. Overflowing with confidence and charm, the message is clear. Sabrina Carpenter is not letting anyone hold her back. Self-assured and decisive, the rousing feminine anthem never fails to lift us up when we're feeling blue or despondent. Not just that, it gorgeously represents Carpenter's growth and identity as an artist. Plus, the music video features an early version of Carpenter's signature It Girl style. And Joey King is in it. It's like the lyrics say, the singer is hard to ignore, and the same could be said for this poppy EDM banger. Number 8, Why? Tell me that we're not alike, but we work so well, and we don't even know why. This song plays on the idea that when it comes to romance, opposites attract. You say you like sleeping with the air off, I don't, I need it on. Carpenter paints a picture of two people who look completely different on paper, but somehow make the perfect couple. The upbeat track, which first came out in 2017 and was subsequently included on the Japanese edition of Singular Act One, dips its toes into electro pop to great effect. The way its lyrics talk about how the stars cross right, creating an unexpected but wonderful match, paints a picture we can't get enough of. The music video also features adorable chemistry between her and Riverdale actor Casey Cott, making this one of her most fun and memorable releases. Number 7, Paris. With a slightly darker tone, this underrated song is easily one of the pop star's most unique offerings. Sultry and brooding, the sparse track shows off her rich vocal tone. So I took myself where I think I should be. Something told me that it's waiting here for me. While the upbeat chorus takes things to the next level, bringing it home. The lyrics, for their part, are heavy with longing for a partner left behind, as the singer compares the romance of Paris to an even brighter love back home. It's a romantic in Paris. Only gonna try to compare it. The almost whispered French bridge is the cherry on top. Je ne voulais pas trouver les mots. It's easy to see why Carpenter said Paris has some of her favorite lines from Singular Act One. Number 6, Run and Hide. I don't wanna buy what they're selling these days, saying feeling I'm falling is all a mistake, no, no. Another throwback, this stripped back guitar ballad is reminiscent of Carpenter's more recent sound. A fan favorite from the Evolution album, the emotional number practically feels like a precursor to emails I can't send. The Cry for Love couples a somber tone with simple yet catchy hook, all while putting the singer's vocal talent on full display. She tells a dynamic story with a balance of airy riffs and a powerful chorus, and the result is breathtaking. The 2016 album This Song Is On presented a more mature image, and Run and Hide certainly helped cement a new sound for the evolving artist. And I don't wanna run, I don't wanna hide. 
Number five, Exhale. Sabrina has crafted a long list of beautiful and heartbreaking ballads, but this is one of her most impressive. Can I exhale for a minute? Though it might not be as well known as her newer singles, Exhale features some of her best storytelling. The reflection on youth swaps a sugar-coated view of life for an honest plea with elegant instrumentals. The record was released at a time when the singer was not only gaining fame, but also navigating the first years of adulthood. Can I Her unique perspective is deeply sincere and true to its name. The track both sounds and feels like one long deep breath. Number 4. Because I Liked a Boy When the Olivia Rodrigo, Sabrina Carpenter, Joshua Bassett drama was all the internet could talk about, Carpenter released Skin. It may have been unrelated, but many speculated it was her answer. Some people will believe it, and some will read in between the lines, you're putting me in the spotlight. One thing is for sure though, she was the target of heavy publicity and criticism at the time. Then, a little over a year later, she debuted this heart-wrenching ballad that appeared to detail her side of the story. Here we feel the weight of what labels and public judgment can do. The wistful number showcases her incredible artistry and lyricism, surely helping her gain an even bigger fan base. Tender and intimate, Because I Liked a Boy is a must listen in her catalog. All because I liked a boy. Number 3. Smoke and Fire was running into a burning building. This one goes out to the OG Carpenters. Today, the singer is best known for her recent radio hits, but this 2016 track is more than just a throwback. A standalone single, Smoke and Fire proves she isn't afraid to experiment with her sound. While the singer-songwriter often opts for a more reflective take on young love, this post-breakup bop is absolutely explosive. Featuring fierce lyrics and a captivating rhythm that always gets us moving, this song deserves way more appreciation than it gets. In a house that's boarded up, so good luck. It even opened up the shows on her very first headlining tour, meaning it represents a true career milestone. Number 2. Feather With help from Carpenter's great choreography and her opening set for Taylor Swift's Eras tour, this song blew up on TikTok in 2023. <laughs> The viral track is feminine, with lyrics about leaving drama behind, the door, ignore. and it's hopelessly catchy in all the best ways. Propelling the singer from popular to iconic, Feather has also made headlines, but not for the reasons you might expect. After receiving criticism for filming the music video in a Catholic church, Carpenter wittily said, quote, Jesus was a carpenter. The track also became her first top 40 hit on the Hot 100, proving that pop is back. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Emails I Can't Send A tender piano introduction to her 2022 album Don't make me cuss you out, why'd you let me down? Don't say sorry now Almost Love An upbeat dance pop track Almost Love, but it could be love Almost Love, almost love but it could be love On Purpose A memorable power ballad with a free-flowing chorus White Flag. This iconic track is filled with wisdom and dynamism. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Nonsense 
When this song off emails I can't send went viral, Sabrina's pop star status was officially solidified. Think I only want one number in my phone. I might change your contact, don't leave me alone. It helped launch the singer into ultra mainstream popularity, and she gained even more traction because of her improvised and usually cheeky outros. You're so hot, I must proceed with caution. It's wicked awesome to be here in Boston. <laughs> With everything from her giggle to her unique wordplay, the singer perfectly encapsulates what it's like to crush on someone. I'll be honest. Looking at you got me thinking nonsense. From the moment the first note plays, you know you're hearing a pop masterpiece. Mm -hmm. The hit became so big that she treated us to multiple versions, even adapting it into a festive Christmas tune. I'm talking decking all the halls, I'm talking spike and eggnog, I'm talking opposite of small, I'm talking big snowballs. Flirtatious, fun, and charming, Nonsense perfectly embodies the artist's emails I can't send era. <laughs> Which Sabrina Carpenter era is your favorite? Let us know your top songs in the comments below. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.